All right, we just heard a splash in the water. It might be the haggis. They've been warning me about this haggis that might attack me. All I saw so far are fish, ducks, and sheep in a splash in the water. It might be haggis. Uh, I, can't, I can't talk right now, we're doing it rapid. Boats. We've got the green boats, we're blending in with nature, whereas we've got the Gordy gang over there with their garish, almost uncouth colours. We're the bushcraft people, they can't see us. On down the river, we've, we've got half a day of flat water paddling, um, very pleasant scenery, nice place to go through, a few little rapids, and then we get down to, to Granton. And in that, this first day and a half, we would have lost 20 meters in height. Uh, but from Granton to the sea, which is gonna take us uh, another couple, three days, we lose 200 meters. So the, the river changes in character, it speeds up, but it's a really, really nice piece of paddling. What are you doing? What am I doing? I am stuffing a throw bag. Is that the correct terminology? Putting the rope back in. And uh, so I'm learning new skills, it's exciting. I probably did learn this once before, but I can't remember it, it as a long time ago. <laughs> now I don't know what to do with this bit. Biggest, biggest thing about it is before you ever throw a rope, you want to know where you're going to land your person. Okay. You're not going to put them into more danger. Get their attention. Everybody says shout, rope! I think it's more for you. Yeah. To make sure you get their attention because in the water they don't hear you. Okay. There's too much noise. So, rope! Do you know how to hold it as a swimmer? No. Okay, so let's quickly do that. If you're in the flow, what you don't want to do is kind of hold it on for dear life. Yeah. Like this, because you're going to end up surfing down. Anyway, what you want to do is try and turn okay. bring it across, like so. So okay. you sort of buoy it up a little bit. Yeah, the water's going to hit and your back and, and the water's surf going to flow around and you get like a little air pocket here. But then you don't see where you're going, so you, I have to trust you. Oh, you're totally, that's, that's, uh, why I should make sure I know where I'm going to put okay. you before I throw. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you how I hold it. So I'm going to use this grip. So it's mechanical rather than strength. I can do it with both hands or one. Now keep putting weight on it and I'll drop. I'll drop my weight back. Now really pull and pull. Now at a certain point, pull hard, you'll start pulling me up. And that's my signal. There's too much force. Get ready and I'll release. And then you bob back to the surface. So put strain on again. And as you come back, I'll drop back down again and I'm going to play you like a fish which is why I take some of this rope out which you know people are really good with throw bags don't stand on the rope <laughs> Kevin oh, oh, oh. oops yes you mean like this I'm highly professional so but if you're like releasing more rope aren't I getting further away yes you are but the two things you're going to be out in the current so if the current's going this way you're going to start out there and gradually i'm swinging you in because it used to be you'd hold it around your waist and you do on some occasions but i can't put enough force on this rope to make you leave go because i have to release you don't have to let go and then that way each time you bob up you you will be swinging and you bob up 
move in. And what Kevin would really like, and I'm sure he would volunteer to help with the filming, we can do it for real if you like, in one of the rapids towards the end of the day when it's really cold. Right. You'd like that, wouldn't you, Kevin? Just just making sure we're all using the same the same signals because already Justine and I have talked about a signal that we use totally differently. If we point, we always point where we want somebody to go. We never ever point at the danger. So always be positive, point where the boat should go. We want you to go there quick. Hand above the head, held up. One person go, want more to go. Just pump it through. Take an eddy. This is the one that uh, Justine and I were talking about. Most of us river paddlers use this for come to me. And Justine was saying, and like divers, sea kayakers like divers, are you okay? But whenever I move into a new group, I always make sure I don't mind if it's their signals or mine, but we're using the same set of signals so we don't actually put somebody into into any danger. Oh, and stop like a policeman or a barred gate. Yeah, happy with that? Yeah, do you want the last signal? Yeah? Yeah, and this is a really important signal when Kevin's uh, going on a bit because this is the bull and its horns and what comes out at the other end. Yeah, so the most important of all river signals. Because they're, they're a hill creature, what they've done is developed into almost two species. So the legs on one side are longer than the other. So if you're on the hill, that's fine. Because if a haggis comes at you, turn and run the other way. And as they turn to chase you, they tumble down the hillside, which is why you get all these stone walls at the bottom to collect them when they're hunting. And the thing is, on, on dry land, you've got to work out is when they're chasing you, they have a natural tendency because of the length of the legs to, to sort of curve in one direction or the other. So you work out which direction they're going to curve and go the other way. But don't make a mistake or they will catch you. He's right. Listen to that man. He knows his stuff. <laughs> I told you, you didn't believe me, but they're here. Don't get too close to the bank because they can be in the reeds. A few class ones. Mountains in the background. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> <laughs> just said at least I had at least 10 minutes of sanity until I went down the ramp. I'm just like a little kid in the schoolyard, I tell you.